Hi, this is Matt with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we'll be showing you how to repair your appliance. Remember, anytime you work on an appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there's no chance of electrocution. Also make sure you turn off the water supply underneath the sink. In this video, we're going to show you how to change out the GE refrigerator, water filter housing, and tube assembly. It's going to be a very easy repair, and it's only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can click on the link below or get it at AppliancePartsPros.com. When you open up the package, you're going to get the new water filter housing and tube assembly. The water filter housing and tube assembly is located in the fresh food section, and it's where you mount the water filter. The main reason you be changing it out is if it's damaged and you're getting water leaking on the floor, or the head is making loud noises and you have reduced water flow. In order to change the part, we're going to go around to the back of the refrigerator. Now that we're around back, we're going to put a towel down to catch any water that may come out of the water lines. Then we're going to take the water line off the connector where it hooks up to the water supply. We're going to use two half inch wrenches to loosen up the connector. Once you have it loose, you can just unscrew it by hand. And then we can just set the water line down. Once you have that water line off, we're going to use our 5 16 nut driver to take off the three screws that hold this side of the access cover on. We're not going to take the whole thing off. We're just going to take off these three screws and then pull the access cover away so we can take off the other water line. Now the way the screw's out, we're just going to carefully pull the access cover back a little bit so we can see the water valve and then we can follow the other gray water line down. We're going to use our half inch wrench to loosen up the nut so we can take it off the water valve. Once you have it loose, you can just turn it by hand and take the water line off. Once you have both lines disconnected, we can let go of the access cover and then we can follow the lines up to the top of the fridge. Now that we're at the top, we're just going to use our quarter inch nut driver to take out the screws. Once you have both screws out, you can set the panel and the screws aside and then we can go around to the front of the refrigerator. Now that we're around front, we can open up the refrigerator door. Now that we have the door open, we can take the filter out. We're going to throw a towel down to catch any water that may spill. You just have to screw the filter clockwise to unlock it and let it drop down. Once you have it free, you can pull it out and set it aside. Then we're going to take this cover off. You just have to lift up on it a little bit to release the tabs. And you can pull it out and set it aside. And then we're going to use the quarter inch nut driver to take out the two screws that hold the bracket to the back wall. Now that we have the screws out, we can reach in and take the water filter housing and tube assembly out. There's two tabs on the bottom that lock it into the liner. We have to lift up on the housing in order to pull it out. You just have to reach in and get the tabs to release. Once you have it free, you carefully pull the water lines out through the refrigerator. As you're pulling it out, you want to make sure that the foam insulation comes with it. And then just carefully pull the lines all the way up and through the opening. Once you have them both out, you can pull the whole assembly out of the refrigerator. Here's the old water filter housing and tube assembly next to the new one. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can get it at AppliancePartsPros.com. To put the new water filter housing and tube assembly in, we're just going to carefully feed the water lines through the back wall. Once you have those through, we're going to carefully push the rest of the water lines through. And you want to make sure that this foam stays up at the top towards the head. And you may have to turn it so the head's in the right position. Once you have it all the way in, we're going to hook the teeth in. And then we can line up the holes and put the screws in. Once you have it in place, it may move around a little bit. So we're going to grab the quarter inch nut driver and the screws. And then we can hold it in place while we put the screws in. Now 
Once you have both screws in, we can put the cover back on. You just have to line it up and snap it into place. Once you have the cover snapped on, we can remove the bypass plug. Just have to unscrew it clockwise and it'll drop down. Once you have that out, we can put the filter back in. To put the filter back in, all you have to do is line up the arrow that's on the filter and on the cover and lift the filter up into place. Once you have it lifted up, we can turn it counterclockwise and lock it in. Once you have it locked in, we can close the refrigerator door and then go around to the back of the refrigerator. Now that we're around back, we can put the cover on. We're just gonna carefully bend the water line down so we can get the cover on. Before you put it on, you wanna take the sealant and work it around the foam insulation on the water lines so you don't get any air leaks going into the refrigerator. Once you have that in place, we can grab the cover and put the screws in with our quarter inch nut driver. Once you have the cover in place, we can follow the water lines down and reconnect them at the bottom. We're going to hook the water line up to the water inlet valve. We're just going to grab the one with the regular compression fitting on it and put it onto the water valve. Once you have it lined up, you can just start the nut by hand. Once you have it snug, we can grab our half inch wrench and tighten it down so we don't get any leaks. Once you have it tightened down, we can swing the access cover back into place. And we can grab the 5 16 nut driver and put the screws in that hold it on. Now that we have the cover back in place, we can reattach the main water line that goes to the house. We have to take off this black cap. All you have to do is unscrew it and pull it off. And we can reconnect it to the main water line. Just gonna get it started by hand. Once you have it snugged down, we can grab the two half inch wrenches and tighten it down. Now that we have the water line reconnected, we can plug the refrigerator back in, turn the water on, and run the dispenser until all the air is purged from the new water lines. Thanks for joining us for another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. Check out our other repair videos on our site, Facebook, and YouTube.